Let me run something by you. You know that uh, civic harassment queue that we've been in lately? Yeah. Is it just me or is it like all Republicans in there? Yeah, it's all Republicans. But a lot of it comes off the Trump's page specific, uh, specifically. Yeah, because I see like a Bernie post and then I'll see like five Trump posts in a row. Yeah, it's it looks straight Republican related. Like, I love our president. Where, where are we getting this? Steve Grimmett is a content moderator for Facebook in Austin, Texas. Um, it's a very progressive company who's very anti-MAGA. I know that Facebook does have a, a Trump rule where they still allow him on the platform even though he says things that if anyone else said it. And that's, that's the fortunate thing is even if he does say something, if it gets repeated, we can at least get the average Joe. Mm -hmm. um, but it goes back to our discussion earlier, it's, it's hard when you've got the, the top person in the country, that's his MO. Um, but you know, Facebook's done a lot better job of, of at least policing the mimickers and the and the mockingbirds that come after Trump. I assume your coworkers were deleting a lot of Trump. Nobody likes Trump in Massachusetts. You don't leave any go, do you? Like if you see a conservative post, you just get rid of it. Right? Yes. right. I don't give no. F I'll delete it. Good. And they'll get told to. It's also like even if it's not, a, even if it's in policy, like. You're deleting that, right? Yeah, I don't give no f It's like one week left. What are they going to do? Like, right. send me to OIP? <laughs> you told me that you just whack all the conservative posts and you're just gone, right? Yeah. No, honestly, like every time, I, like half the time when I it's delete people for like, oh, like, you should be on a watch list, dude. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, Trump supporters like to throw around like Trump derangement syndrome yeah. as like, you know, liberals being crazy. I like think of it as, as actually, you're the one that has Trump Ranger syndrome. Yeah. You're losing your goddamn mind as soon as like, because they're just like, oh, Trump 2020. Yeah. And it's like, that sounds a little more deranged to me when you end every argument than that. Like even like hashtag MAGA or hashtag MAGA 2020. It's political space though. Yeah, but not for you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted. Yeah. So it's like, it's like delete, delete any like positive Trump supporters stuff. But if it makes them look bad, you leave it up. <laughs> so if you see something that's not supposed to be up, it's probably me. <laughs> so you've deleted just hashtag MAGA. Yeah. Like the post gone. It's, it's common sense. <laughs> Who else is like you? Like. In the office, who else? Who else to proactively delete? Well, I hang out with a lot of people because it's like they'll come up to me and they'll be like, "Post me," or and then when I do, it's like you set yourself up. But there's Marcella. I hang out a lot with her. Uh, there's like other Asian guys that I hang out with. Kevin, who's like the, the midget that I I harass about his height. And then there's like Trug, Gabe, what's it? Cassie, Jen. Yeah, that's a, oh, Dante, Skyler, Sh Shania. Those are all like the. The yeah, resistors. The people that I know. <laughs> yeah. Those are, and they all do the same thing as you, content moderator. How, how many of you are, are they take your own stance and say, say we're just deleting whatever all the all the Trump posts. Probably like sixteen of us. And you guys, like you just delete everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So sixteen in the morning. I don't like believe in and pushing like the left agenda. Yeah, yeah. And that's what Facebook. How? By allowing a lot of stuff that are very far left to be still on the platform. Like, for example, it, it, like racial stuff. Okay. What? You could call me white trash based on me being white, but I can't. But, if you say Asian trash, black trash, brown trash, we got to delete stuff like that. Right. So they, they, they're very, you know, they'll, they'll allow certain things, but not for others where you would think something could be. Um, and so that's just, you know, one example. But And they're very, like, politically, yeah. it's like you, you can say anything you want except kill for mm. uh, someone on the right. Okay. But, but if, if it's someone on the left, then it's about their race. That's up, up in, like, you know, governmental things. You have to take that down for hate speech. Yeah, I meant she has a MAGA hat on or something. <laughs> You'll be all <laughs> Yeah. I would so do that, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. You just have to like go hard that day. It's just like get into work early. Like, like I'm on a mission. <laughs> like make up for the last year. <laughs> Oh really? But if they attack like first year slowly, maybe I'll take them. Yeah, I can take them. Like what what like type of attack? Say, like Bernie is this and this and he doesn't have even that and he's just like this or whatever else, take it down. It's like, think about the amount of impact that you could have if you remove those types of posts. Yeah. I mean, like, the hate, like, once... The hateful. Yeah. That's true. I'd rather remove Trump posts than Bernie posts, though, because I feel like people just say, oh, I don't like Bernie or Bernie's a communist. Like, I don't think that would impact anything, but if, if I, if a Trump post was to come up and it was promoting Trump and I could take that down, then I feel like that would be me. The actions of the content moderators may not be conclusive evidence of structural bias at Facebook, but it certainly speaks to the anti-conservative culture that McElroy says is pervasive. Well, it's very simple. You've got a formula. You've got a workplace full of mostly liberal-leaning Democrats, leftists, essentially, and they are being put in charge of moderating the entire public discourse. Facebook and Instagram are very large platforms, one of the biggest. And our voices are in the hands of people who are almost entirely left-leaning and not right-leaning or otherwise unbiased. And in speaking with a lot of them, I found that they are not at all shy to exercise their political will in deleting or leaving up content whether or, whether or not they're allowed to, or whether or not they'll get penalized for it, especially when they've got nothing to lose, that is to say, they're getting laid off. That's hard. <laughs> what if, I know, I would I come up with some good ass sometimes where they like, let me fly <laughs> No one cares. No one cares. No They're one just cares. deleting everything they want. I know a lot of people, you know, always going back to politics, but hey, fighting the good fight. I know a lot of people are taking down, uh, you know, Trump post stuff. Oh, yeah. I knew that, too. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to hold you accountable for taking it down. We have, like, 30 minutes left. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I mean, it's for the better. Yeah. Hell yeah. You got to get the Cheeto out of office. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking, delete like every Donald Trump post I see on the timeline. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was the only one. <laughs> why not? You think, why, why not? See, this is the main thing. I thought I was the only one doing it, okay? You're doing it? I, was, I, was, I thought I was the only one doing it. But I'll be here. I'll be here. I just feel spite. Yeah. Spite. <laughs> Revenge for all the yeah. Yeah. I mean, what you think? They gonna audit you? Oh, who, uh, who knows? Yeah. I don't know, but I just feel like I'm doing something. The problem, I think, again, it's globally, they, they want part of them in this picture, in this global picture. Therefore, Christians are always, you can't believe how much Jesus stuff that has been attacked over and over and over again against Jesus or any type of Christianity. They could, you could blaspheme Jesus as much as you want. Yeah. On Facebook. But if you go against somebody that's wearing, a, you know, one of those Islamic hats and thinking that they're going to blow themselves up, well, that's hate speech. But if there's anything over here and in name of a Christian, like, you know, shares a Bible verse or just, you know, says this, you know, that may appear to go against homosexuality, well, that that's hate speech. That's, you know, this and that. That's not allowed. <laughs> It's pretty clear that Facebook has a political agenda, and it's also clear that if you're not in line with that, you're less likely to be heard. Do you think if it was like a pro-Trump whistleblower that like they would protect them to the same level? No, right? I think they're very biased with who they protect. At a certain extent, like like the bias. Like you've seen the Twitter, the Twitter shadow banning. So I wonder if this, if you've seen anything oh, at Facebook. Shadow bans. Yeah. Facebook's notorious for it. And they say they don't, but yeah. it's clear that people's content don't come up because it's been defiltered off the queue. Yeah. Things. That's crazy. <laughs> they're doing something, man. They're just trying to pretend like they're not. Yeah. Well, 
it, it's definitely being done. I, I don't know if there's any plans to to make it more like to make it a true shadow ban. Like, you post these things, nobody can see your like you're not banned, but nobody can see you. So a lot of things that we have to look out for are the dog whistles, are the um, are the I guess the content coming from places that is a haven for um, white nationalism. So there's a there's an insider watching this program and looking at what you did and working inside of whatever company they're working. Maybe it's Google, maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's you know CNN. What is your message to those people who n have not yet made the decision to do what you've done? I would say you can do it too. I would say it's not as impossible as you think. McElroy signed non-disclosure agreements when he started and ended his employment at Facebook Cognizant. Are you afraid? I think the truth is more powerful than any NDA. Facebook needs to be transparent about their political bias, both institutional and cultural. If you're on the inside of a big tech company,